All right, Shalom, Akio. We're back again to prophesy the downfall of America and speak truth according to the scriptures to let you Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians know that you're the true people of the Bible. All right? We're the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. All right, as always, we're going to give all praise and glory and honor to y'all by Shem Yahweh Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. All right? But again, like, you know, we're supposed to come out here, prophesy, teach, Exhort, admonish, rebuke, all right, everything that these people out here ain't doing, man, all right, to, to bring back our people to their true, to the true way, all right, to our natural path, because everything else that we follow is artificial, man, all right, and it, they're walking as zombies, they're already over the cliff, they're already, they're already walking on air over the cliff and not knowing that they're about to, about to fall down, it's like on those old school cartoons where the, uh, the, uh, the road runner and the coyote, the coyote, always uh, outdoes, this, outdoes himself and he goes outside that, that cliff and he's running for a minute and realizes that he's not on ground no more so he's, what happens? He falls straight down. That's how these two thirds are, man. And even the brothers that are, are, are part of the elect, you're in that same boat until the Lord draws you out. And that's why he has us out here. Alright? To bring you back. Because when going back all the way to the time of uh, uh, e Egypt, we, we fell away from the Lord because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments, man. He put curses on us. That's why we're in the condition that we're in. And that's why we're sent out. <clears throat> because we're trying to draw back the elect so we can usher in the kingdom. Okay, the first scripture I want to bring out is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 1. The sin of Judah is written with a, a pen of iron and with a point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. And, and the Most High remembers our sins, man. He hasn't forgotten the, uh, the iniquity that we committed against him. All right? Judah's played a harlot. Israel's played a harlot. Talking about the northern and southern kingdom, man. So what happens, what happens to a harlot? A harlot uh, uh, re receives uh, death, man. A woman that commits adultery. But the Most High has found compassion on a small group of them men. Of the women and children of that group. The remnant. All right? It says... With, while it's their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. And I'm talking about all y'all's uh, y'all's idol worship, y'all's places where y'all go to worship, these churches, these synagogues. All right, or it could be y'all's little crack houses, man, where y'all trying to bring God. You have one foot in, one foot out, saying that you you believe in the Lord, but you're in a crack house smoking up crack, smoking ice. Using uh, Philippians uh, 4, and, 4 and 13, saying that it's the Lord that strengthened you. Talking about the Lord strengthening you to do drugs. It's, just, it's the devil that strengthened you to do those drugs, man. You, you people are, are in a, a strong delusion. That's why that, that sin has been written on y'all's hearts as, as a point of a diamond, because there's no escaping that, man. You can't, you can't make something crooked. You can't make something straight that's crooked. Only the Most High and the Son of Yahweh are able to do that. And you two-thirds are not going to escape death, man, nor, nor you heathens. It says, On my mountain, Jeremiah 17 and 3, On my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil. That's why you got these, uh, these heathens, these Amalekites over there in Israel, in, the land, in, in our land in Israel, man. That's why you got these Edomites and these heathens governing the whole earth when we should be doing it. When we should be on top saying, this is what it, this is how it's supposed to be and not to be. All right. It says my on my mountain in, in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil, and thy high places for sin. Throughout all thy borders, and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage. And that's the point. Y'all gonna discontinue from thy heritage because this is that's what the whole point of us coming down the highways and the hedges. Being a sign and a light to the people is to draw back you, draw you back to your true heritage, man. To your to, to, to your uh, traditions, your true high holy days you're supposed to be observing, man. And we always say it's repetitive, but it's always got to be said. It's like here in America, they're always observing what Saturnalia, uh, so-called Christmas, with the worshiping of planets, Saturn. Now people don't even understand that how deep all that shit goes. Y'all go into uh, the uh, worshiping uh, shapes and shit, squares, goes back to Satan, man. It's like in that movie, uh, uh, the Superman versus Batman, 
at the very last end of the uh right before uh superman went to battle with uh doomsday uh that 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 uh lex luther whatever his name is he was consulting with the demon man which in, in that movie i forget the arch enemy that's gonna come back in part two but that's who he was uh consulting with but but what i'm trying to prove is that that demon had three cubes that goes back to what y'all people worship y'all worship saturn man y'all worship these demons man and that's what separated you uh two-thirds from the elect because the elect are what have been woken up to the truth man our minds have been closed from all this bullshit that's out here trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, penetrate us through the spirit and power of Yahweh by shim Yahweh shai because all you people are susceptible to everything man y'all are being fucking used and abused by demons Y'all getting tossed out, turned out. It's like a female out here on the streets by a bunch of bunch of niggas on the street turning her out. That's how you two-thirds are, man. That's how you heathens are getting turned out by these demons. And you don't even know it. Y'all stink and y'all filthy. And what happens with that? The Lord is like, man, you know what? I'm gonna spew you out of my mouth. And that's what he's done, man. He says, and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right, and he get, gave us what? He gave us power, man. He gave us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Above all nations. The nations were supposed to come to us seeking for advice. To be, hey, what do we do? Counsel. You know? It says, And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For when, for, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Right? And you kindled a fire in the Lord's anger. You, you kindled a fire, man. So the Lord's angry. Now, now we're from, from, from the time of Babylon, the Medo Persian Empire, Greece, the Romans. Now we're here, in America. You know? That, th this is the, the result of rebelling against our power. And, and the end result for these people out here, that are the heathens that are over us, they're going to go back to where they're going to receive what we receive, man. Double. All right? It says. Uh, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever right and it and it shall burn forever meaning that till it's accomplished till the, the most high seeks sees fit that it's been uh he's satisfied he's satisfied with with what uh what what, what our, our punishment was to be all right and it's already accomplished man go ahead and get uh got a scripture and lamentations uh, 4 and 21 it says rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of us right and then and that's 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 prophecy too because you see the heathens they're, they're rejoicing they're enjoying themselves all right they, they they own all these businesses they name lands and streets and cities after their own names you know they take uh, lands at their own will it's like right now you got everything going on with the Native American Indians uh, uh, because so they're, they're, they're going to do like a major pipelining over there in the land. I forget where, where it is exactly. Salakia for that. But y'all brothers already know that uh, the, the Indians, the North, the, the, the tribe of Gad, the North American Indians are protesting about that, man. They're getting fed up. They've been fed up. Now they're rising up. The spirit of the Lord is raising people up in different, uh, uh, John, uh, different uh, uh, you know, areas of, of, of life, man. You know, and that, that's prophesied. And what happens in, 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 in Esau, he does whatever he wants. He'll come up with, they'll, they'll use, we can use a certain law, and then out of nowhere he'll come out with the written law that, that that's dated back in, so, it's like in the 90s or something, but really he probably just fucking made it up that day, or that week, that year. Just so he can pass, so he can override what you say. There's so much laws and, and penal clo codes and uh, city ordinances and all this bullshit thousands of numbers that we ain't got time to read through all that and he knows that that's why they're constantly updating their, their ordinances their, their laws and things of that nature because because we're getting smarter so he has to keep be one step up ahead, ahead of us but like I'm saying they, they got the Native American Indians over there protesting against them to keep them from uh, drilling it and messing with that land that's sacred to them you know so he takes whatever he wants man he don't care 
It says, uh, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right, our, our, our punishment of our iniquity is accomplished. All right? So that's why the Most High is waking up certain individual men to uh, go and do what they're supposed to, what they're commanded. While the rest of you are still in the La La Land, in the land of us. Talking about the land of uh, the Wizard of Oz, man. Still trying to find something that's not real. Following a yellow brick road that's going to lead you to your death, man. And when you, when, you, when you move that curtain, then you're going to realize there was nothing but just a fucking itty bitty man. When you, you, this whole time you thought he was this, this great, great man, man. Y'all people are deceived. You ain't got no heart. That's why the Lord told the northern kingdom, y'all are like as a silly dove without no heart. You ain't got no understanding, man. You ain't got no strength. You know? And y'all all follow a woman. And that's in that movie, they're all following, what was her name? Uh, and, and Was it Al uh, uh, Alice? Not Alice. Dorsey. Y'all are all fo following Dorsey, man. A woman. You know? And if I'm not mistaken, Dorothy goes back to the, the Latin word Dolores, which means sorrow, which is going to lead you out of death, man. Dolor. That's what that dolor means, to be uh, a sorrowful. Y'all are, all, all, are off. Y'all are all in for a rude awakening, man. You, you, you two-thirds, you Negro, Latino, Native American Indians that don't want to get right, man. You got to wake up and come back to the truth, to your heritage, you know? Stand up for, for something that's going to really uh, benefit you. This, doing that Black Lives Matter bullshit, that ain't going to benefit you. Look what, look what happened to the Black Panthers. Everything's ready for our learning. You should always go look back. Okay, what did this group of people do? Versus this group of people. Right? And, and, and the, the ultimate example in the, in the, uh, the warning and the teachings is the Lord, man. He's the one that's going to accomplish all. He's already accomplished it. We're, he's just waiting for it to be manifested. Okay, it's time to come back to your heritage. It says, Lamentations 4 and 22, The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And you two-thirds, y'all follow, 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 fall into that same category with Esau, man. Y'all going to be destroyed, man. Okay, because you dis you discontinued. Esau was supposed to uh, uh, abide as far as follow what 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 was being uh, put out on the earth, man. Everybody was supposed to be in order. Because Lord, the Lord set us up as as what does Yahshua Allah mean? He is a prince of power, so we're gonna uh, uh, be the powers that be and make sure that everybody was doing accordingly. Everybody was gonna be under subjection under us. Okay. Uh, like I said, like the Lord, the Lord is uh, you kindled a fire in the Lord, so the Lord is, is angry. Okay, and and that's the point is that the Lord is not playing, man. I got Psalms. This is Psalm seven and eleven. Uh, the Most High judges the righteous, and God is, and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day, right? And 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 we know the head of the wicked is Esau, but also the you know everybody else that follows after the world or after their own flesh is is, is part of that is part of that category. All right, the, the Lord is angry with you. You kindle the fire in the Lord. All right. So the Most High is going to destroy you, man. It says if he turn not, he will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. Talking about sharpening his, 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 his arrows, man. His judgments. Because when he sends out his plagues, the spirit, the spirit of vengeance upon the earth, it's going to accomplish where it goes, man. It's going to be beautiful in his eyes, whether you see, see it fit or not. However the Lord wants it to play out, it's going to play out the way he needs to play out. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Who the persecutors, man? 
to, towards us, it's everybody. We are uh, at war against the world, man. You know? So the Lord has is, 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 uh, prepared his instruments of death. We're talking about what? The ICBM missiles? You know? The modern day uh, sword, which is the, the uh, 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 what, they, what people call a pistol. You know? All this is, 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 is in the making to prepare because we're about to go to war, man. War is about to be pushed out here. And two thirds of you Negroes, y'all gonna be caught up in that. The time of Jacob's trouble. And a lot of y'all are gonna die in the streets, man. Y'all gonna be bugging out, screaming, squealing like a pig. Literally, y'all gonna be sounding like pigs, man. That's how fearful you're gonna be, man. And them demons that are gonna be on y'all gonna be making y'all bug out. That's why it's very important that you come back to the most high, man. With fear and trembling. Not as an old damn trend. Alright? But with sincerity and truth. With the contrite spirit, brokenhearted, that you're convicted for the things that you've done, man. Because the most high don't give a shit. You, 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 you coming over here trying to uh, be a certain way, he's going to get you out. And there's been many examples, many times it's been shown and, and seen, man. And that's what's happened to the the, the ones that discontinued from the heritage. Even the, the heritage, when you come into the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the truth in 2016, that's part of that same heritage that happened thousand two, uh, you know, four or five thousand years ago, six thousand years ago with uh, Abraham or Moses and uh, and uh, 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 Joshua, man. Y'all discontinued then? Hey, it's, it's talking about right now too. When you come into this truth, you discontinue from this heritage, the most High is angry with you and he's not going to turn back. He's going to be wetting his sword for you, man. That's why it's very important to stay, keep fighting and, and, and pushing. Because those two-thirds, the ones that are the rebels that got weeded out in the, in, the, in the wilderness, those are the same ones that are back today that are doing the same shit. Murmuring, Complaining, you know, as part of as part of a, a struggling, we we we're in a land that's not our, we're in a in, a, in a, a time that is not ours, man. You know, so we gotta uh, deal with it, but it's not too much longer. It says Psalm seven and fourteen. Behold, he he travailed with iniquity and has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it, and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall fall upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Right, so, you know, Esau is going to uh, receive, you know, that, that ultimate destruction from the Lord, man. And it's going to fall upon his own head. That pate, that word pate is talking about his head. Alright, so, again, those that don't want to fall in line, you know, they want to go according to their own their own belly, their own spirit. You're gonna receive that same judgment, man. Cause you how about Shimei Wasai is angry, man. He's not happy. Especially if he turned back. You know, he has no pleasure in a man that turns back. I think there's a scripture that says that. Uh, but I don't know where it's at. Let me, uh, I'm going to bring out another one real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Let's see. Right here, this is Luke chapter 9, verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Right, so that's, that's, like I said, like the scriptures are trying to prove and tell you, that once he discontinued from the heritage, the most high is, 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 is you're not fit for the kingdom, man. He has no pleasure in you. Okay? It's just like this place, America. The Lord has no pleasure in this place, man. This place is uh, uh, polluted. It's evil, man. You know, every every single person on the on this earth, man, they got demons on them. They don't even know it. Even us, we even, we even struggle with demons. We even struggle in the flesh. But the difference between us and them is that we're, we're still fighting and we're coming out here presenting our bodies a living sacrifice, man. 
and have faith. They don't, man. They're faithless. So it, 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 it'll behoove you to continue in the heritage, not discontinue. You know? Because once you, you, you're, you're uh, dishonorably discharged, what's going to happen? You're going to be uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a pitiful situation in every single area in your life. You're going to be in, 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 in walking in darkness, man. Like the scriptures say in... Uh, like the scriptures say right here in the book of uh, Sirach. Let me go ahead and get it real quick. Right here it says, Sirach chapter 13, verse 13. It says... Observe and take good heed, for thou walkest in peril of thy overthrowing. Right, so in every every turn, every corner, you know, every step that we take could be our destruction, man. That's the difference between us and them, these two-thirds, is that we, we're we being circumspect. And we're, we're constantly uh, uh, looking towards the Mosai and his son, Yahweh Shai, man. They ain't, man. This place, this America's a hypocritical nation. Okay? But this place is America is set up to be your destruction, man. And if you don't take proper uh, uh, caution and uh, uh, be circumspect, you're going to be put out in the cold, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ain't going to leave us elect out like that, man. We're going to be very, we're going to be well taken care of. It may not seem like it because the scriptures say we already got some Edomites over here trying to interrupt, man. We got a, we got a, like the scriptures say, that the most side is going to give us what we, we need, man. Okay? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to uh, uh, keep us warm. There's that one scripture in, in the book of Ezekiel where it talks about how uh, uh, Israel was let out and, and, and left in blood and was naked. But then Yahweh Shai came and picked us up, picked her up and clothed her and decked her out. That's what he's doing right now to his bride, man. But to, to the to the heathens, to these two thirds, it, it seems to them as if we're, we're we're dying, man. As if we're we live in misery. Let me go ahead and get that one too. Give me one sec. This is in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three. Verse 1, it says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no to torment touch them. Right. And that's what that's what it is, man. But it, let's say if, if, if a, a, a brother is touched, that doesn't mean that he wasn't part of the elect. Because if he's standing and doing the work in the, in the, in, 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 for the Lord and he's touched, that, that more or less says that he's, he's part of the elect. But we ain't going to really know until we're in the kingdom. We're caught up in the chariots. But from what the scriptures say is that if you die in this thing, hey man, you're part of the elect, man. That's an automatic crown. You know? It says, In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. Right, and that's what, in the, in the sight of the heathen, it looks like, oh, they're miserable, they're in a miserable state. They're, they're bug outs, they're crazy, they're lunatics. They're, they're, uh, they're mad. They're just pissed off all the time. You know? Hey, the scriptures say, uh, Surely the oppression maketh the wise man mad. So who's really wise and unwise, man? Because the Lord's already saying that they're, you two-thirds, you, you heathens, you Edomites, all right? Y'all are a bunch, y'all are unwise, man. You know? Just because you got the rest of the multitude, the scriptures say, Follow not a multitude to, uh, to evil. And that's just because we ain't following you doesn't mean that we're in a miserable state, man. We're 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 being wise, we're being circumspect, we're observing. Alright? We're taking caution. Alright? We're actually using words and putting them into action unlike you. Y'all like to try to sound eloquent, try to act like you're uh, intelligent. But really you don't follow a damn thing you even say. That's why I said this place is a hypocritical nation. And the Lord bears witness to it, man. No? But the most side, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he's doing exactly what needs to be done and it's going accordingly. But you cannot discontinue from your heritage, man, because if you do, it's gonna you're gonna be in a in a miserable state then.
you know the most size bad man he can he can make it extend all the way to 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 where you're you're caught up in a concentration camp and 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 and, and you're put under uh, the thing that you know it was a guillotine and then get your head cut off man because they're bringing that back man you put on the gallows and they hang your ass or they execute you that's what's coming man it's coming over here to to this world to this earth to here to america because everywhere everywhere else is experiencing it man <clears throat> all right it says wisdom solomon three and three and they're going forth from us is to be utter destruction but they are in peace right so the lord is saying we're in peace how are we in how, how are, are those that continue in the heritage in peace because we have that knowledge wisdom and understanding up here man we see things for what they really are and we have hope and something that that's 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 evident that's not seen unlike you you have to see it to believe it but check it out the Lord's so bad it's like he's showing you he's sending certain men in the <coughs> flesh speaking to be assigned to you and y'all still don't even believe it. you know it's like in that parable in Luke I'm gonna get that one because I get your people a bunch of hypocrites man this is Luke and talking about the rich man and Lazarus y'all people don't have no understanding of that scripture man that parable alright this is uh, Luke This is Luke chapter 16. Uh, I'm just going to get straight to the point. Uh, Luke 16 and 28. It says, and this is Lazarus, uh, the rich man that's already put in a so-called, you know, he's in torment in the flames. Which that, the, the flames that's talking about is the ICBM missile, man. Thermonuclear destruction that's coming. Okay. And that great gold fix is talking about that, that when, the, when, uh, Lazarus would represent Yahshua Allah, the elect, and Abraham represents the Most High, and, and Yahweh Shai, he's going to be caught up in the heavens, and that's that great gold fix that you can't, you're not going to escape. You can't, you can't, you ain't, you ain't going to be able to get access to the chariot. It's like in that old movie, with, with that movie, uh, The End of the World, or whatever it was called. Huh? The World's End. The World's End with Seth Rogen, and they, at the end, you know, they got them chariots, those, those, they're trying to beam them up. And then you got some guys grabbing the, the, their ankles or a part of their clothing and they're they're going up there along with them just because they they uh one of them got beamed up and they felt like well i grab on I'll, I'll make it up there too that's not it ain't gonna be that way on on this side man that's a fairy tale okay it says uh luke 16 and 28 for i have five brethren that he may testify unto them these they also come into this place of torment so the rich man is asking Abraham, hey man, let me send, uh, uh, send somebody to, to speak to my five brethren, you know, to, uh, so they won't come to this place so they know that it's for real. Go warn them, go let them know. Abraham said unto him, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, nay, Father Abraham, but, I, but, if, one went them, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent and he said unto him if they hear not Moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead and it's the truth man because spiritually us that, that woke up and came back into the, the, the heritage of Yahshua Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai we, we came we, we came from death from death man all right we're, we're, we're made alive and y'all still don't believe. Just like Yahweh Shai, he was on the earth. He died, resurrected, and he was still on the earth for a period of time and was still teaching. And then, at, you know, in the book of Acts, it tells you chapter 1 when he, was, when he had finally ascended. What was it, like 40 days that he was on the earth still? Teaching, speaking with the, uh, the, uh, the Akim. And people still didn't believe the apostles. You know? It says, uh, 
I'm going to start at Luke 16 and 30 again. It says, And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went un unto them from the dead, they will repent. And it's not true, man. Because few, uh, the, most I, the most I has to call you for you to be chosen. And it's talking about spiritually. He has to activate your mind. You know, and put the spirit on you to come in. You can't just, oh, you know what? That sounds, that sounds right. You can agree all day, but if the Lord ain't dealing with you, you ain't going to come in. You know? Because you, we've, you've encountered many people where they're like, you know what? You, you know, you're, you're right, man. Y'all keep doing what y'all do. You don't ever see them again. But the, but the Lord may seal them up just because they, 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 do, they, they do believe like that. We don't know. You know? But as far, but as, far as we know, is that you people ain't gonna wake up, man. You know? And the Lord is waking up, like I said, a, a small remnant of Negro Latinos and Native American Indians that are Negro and Indian descent and bringing them back to their heritage and casting off this old strange apparel, man. Okay? Let me go ahead and get that one. You know, everybody, you know, today, man, everybody thinks it's a. Uh, it's a joke, man, and it's not, man. The, the, the gig is up already. You know, things are real out here. Things are getting real, real. You know, to, to, from the from the major cities all the way down to the the, 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 the the shitty cities in America, man. You know, everything is really is, is, is getting at a at a high rate to where you know people are are, are dying on the streets of America. You know the food is continually be continually is continuously being uh, contaminated with different uh, you know uh, bacteria. You know it's 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 a daily thing, man. It's daily. I mean, well, the, the, the the major one that recently happened was with Blue Bell ice cream, where they found that uh, bacteria was called the uh, listeria in there, man. And they just recently brought it back because they had to do a major, I guess, you know, cleaning, cleansing. But that's what it is. It's every day, man. You go to the FDA website and, and, and you'll find out different recalls on different products, pharmaceutical products, food products that are being recalled all the time. And there was one recently, too, where the chicken wings, there was something about the wings. That they're, 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 they had, uh, I think, uh, they found, like, what is it, human, uh, 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 human, you know, meat in there, or flesh, or whatever. And they had to recall a, a bunch of uh, uh, wings, man, a bunch of chicken wings. That's on a daily basis here, man. And we're not even, a, we're not even a, in a third world country, and America's experiencing that type of stuff, man. Look at everything that's going on in Venezuela. That's about to come here, man. You got the GMO foods, you got seedless watermelon, you got seedless avocados. I bought I bought an avocado from out uh from a uh, 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 market 